Hey, what's going on, you guys? So sorry about JPEG. Welcome back to the channel, Lids and Kicks. And I'm back with another video. And I think you guys can tell by uh, this shoe box right here, I think you guys have an idea about what's inside. Shout out to the good people at movingkick.ru for the sneaker review today. They have the Travis Scott Times Fragment Air Jordan 1 Low. It's one of the most hyped sneakers in a long time. And um, of course, you know, it's Travis Scott, Fragment, Jordan 1s. So you know that's gonna be every hype beast's wet dream right here. So uh, yeah, so initially photos of the sneaker initially leaked on the internet and social media back in late 2020, early 2021. Uh, the sneaker eventually did release via the sneakers app um, or in the spring of 2021, I believe. So Travis Scott and uh, the Jordan brand have done many collabs over the years and uh, most notably Travis Scott and Air Jordan, they did that, uh, that extremely successful Air Jordan 1 High in that mocha brown coffee colorway. And for today's sneaker as well, it also features that upside down Nike swoosh reminiscent of the LeBron 10 that dropped back in the day around like 2013, 2012 for those sneaker heads that remember that. Uh, this sneaker right here features a cream slash sale swoosh and midsole, uh, a sky blue sole, and um, on the inside it's also sky blue as well. And just like a lot of Jordan ones, it has that black leather around the toe box. Yeah, so when this sneaker initially was rumored to come out, I saw some of the leaks, some of the photos come out. I was very, very excited just because I loved the design of it. I'm not so much of a fan of the high top ones, but I really like these in particular right here. You know, but over time, as the sneaker actually came out, it got a little oversaturated, overhyped, just because, you know, it's Travis Scott, Jordan 1, and Fragment. Um, wasn't very available on the sneakers app or anything like that. For those that don't know, UA is just like a high quality fake, I guess, a high quality replica. Uh, these are available on their site on movingkick.ru. Shout out to Thea. I do have a coupon code in the description, so you should check that out as well. Yeah, so like the retail version of these are going from anywhere from 13 to 1600, depending on size, uh, availability, and also condition of the shoe. So um, I would definitely recommend that people maybe, if they want a retail version of this, they should get it soon before it goes even higher. I think it'll, I think it'll get even higher in a couple years from now as it gets more rare. And um, I do have the retail, the authentic shirt that goes along with this collection. Uh, but uh, I'm probably not gonna wear these too much around just because they're not authentic, they're not uh, retail, but um, these are great options for other people that are looking to cop this shoe that weren't able to get it. Most people weren't able to get it. And um, yeah, you should check it out on their website. Right now, so let's get into the unboxing and on feet portion of this video where you guys can see how these look on feet and um, some other details of the shoe that you guys might have missed. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe, osaro.jpg. Lids and kicks, more videos are on the way.